Hey there, I'm Nathan Hawthorne and today we're going to be looking at the Photoshop CC Puppet Warp Tool. So here's an image that I've got from Pexels and I've just copied and pasted it um, into Photoshop onto a blank canvas. Now, first thing we're going to do is just separate the individual from the background. So I'm going to use the object selection tool, click on him, just copy and paste and just for the time being, for the purpose that we're using it for, we're going to make the original image disappear, no background. All right, so let's start off by just activating the Puppet Warp tool. So edit, Puppet Warp, and we'll see this mesh appear over here. And this is like a skeleton which shows all the different points that link together. And that's important because wherever we plot these points that we're about to plot will um, have a direct effect on how things move around. And the mesh, of course, relates to that. So to start off with, you can put down anchor points. Now, say, for example, I want to move the head. If I put down one anchor point there, watch what happens. As you can see, the entire thing moves. Now, if I put down another anchor point, so we'll put this one just here, we'll now see that it now pivots around that secondary point while still doing a little bit of a warp to the actual person themselves. If I use the other one, it will just pivot around the top point instead. So then what I would need to do is put down more points um, that I can then pivot and warp around. So for example, if I want to move the head, I put one here near the front, one here at the top, one here at the back, and two here at the bottom of the jaw. All right, it'll probably be a good idea to also put some points around here and here, just so that there's not too much adjustment with the posture, and maybe here as well. So now, if I move one, it will just warp slightly like that. We don't want that to happen. So the way that we can avoid that is by holding shift and selecting multiple points. Now doing this should enable us to just move certain parts of the image. So I'm just going to select one more point. As you can see, other parts of the image are moving with it. I'll select this one and now the entire thing is moving. All right, now if I press enter, that will confirm that into place. As we can see, some warping is taking place. Um, unfortunately, because of where I, I put it, there's been an actual, actually some <laughs> major adjustments to the person's body shape. So if we just compare this to what it looked like before, I'll just undo that. We can see it's gone from having quite a straight posture to having one that is now a bit more leaned forward and for some reason a bit more bulked out as well. But that's the sort of power that this tool has. And with that, we can also adjust small things. So if I just put the puppet warp mesh back on again, so we can do things like adjust the placement of the hand, like so, and other things like that. It's really useful for making edits where you need to maybe make a hand move so that it's you know a bit further back or a bit further forward or things like that. It's just a bit more precise way of using the warp tool. Now, this of course doesn't only work with figures who look like humans or animals or things like that. You can use well or drawings. So for an example, let me just put down using the brush tool. A structure that looks like that. All right, so this could represent anything like clock face an arm a pulley system anything like that and let's just go back to our warp tool and i'll put an anchor point in these three spots now watch what happens imagine that as an arm that's flexing you see how it affects the upper part as well because of the mesh so you can see it bending with it which is pretty cool or if I was to do the two, so those two are staying in the same position, but it's the top one that's now changing. All right. So there's lots that can be done with this. And so I encourage you to play around with it, see if you can fit it into your workflow and how you can experiment with it, like all things on Photoshop. Now, 
maybe you've used in the past if you have or can see ways that this can be used or ways that <laughs> are more effective and faster than using this tool please feel free to let us know in the comments also we have loads of other tutorials on the channel so go ahead and check those out um, there's those tutorials in terms of the tools in terms of workflow and things like that which i think will be of great use to anybody just getting into photoshop or just looking for ways to expand their photoshop knowledge so that's all for today thank you for watching and listening and we'll see you in the next video